Good day, our beloved sisters and brothers. May the sun warm your heart with love. Each morning begins with Jesus Christ's holy grace and benevolence. God blesses you for a good morning and the whole day through. Saint Padre Pio gave us the message and warned us about the new coming this June as well as hanging these items in front of your house's door to stay away from evil and receive more blessings from God. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. And our brothers and sisters, please, watch till the end of this video because that will motivate us to make the other videos. Before coming to the main part of this video, our brothers and sisters, let's join and say with us. Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God, that you died on the cross to rescue me from sin and death and to restore me to the Father. I choose now to turn from my sins, my self-centeredness, and every part of my life that does not please you. I choose you. I give myself to you. I receive your forgiveness and ask you to take your rightful place in my life as my Savior and Lord. Come reign in my heart, fill me with your love and your life, and help me become a truly loving person like you. Restore me, Jesus. Live in me. Love through me. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, take all my freedom, my memory, my understanding, and my will. All that I have and cherish you have given me. I surrender it all to be guided by your will. Your grace and your love are wealth enough for me. Give me these, Lord Jesus, and I ask for nothing more, Amen. Matthew 24 verse 21 For then there will be great tribulation, such as has not been from the beginning of the world until now, no, and never will be. Saint Padre Pio warned us about the fire this June. There will be a great tribulation coming from a fire this month, which will destroy many cities and areas. Wildfires can cause extensive damage to structures, including homes, businesses, and infrastructure. The heat and flames can consume buildings, and the spread of embers can ignite new fires in surrounding areas. This can result in the displacement of communities and the loss of property and possessions. Fire can pose a threat to human life and safety. They can force evacuations, leading to the temporary displacement of residents. Additionally, smoke inhalation can be hazardous to health, particularly for individuals with respiratory issues or other underlying medical conditions. In some cases, firefighters and other emergency personnel may be injured or lose their lives while combating wildfires. Our brothers and sisters, you must hang these things in front of your house's door to be saved from the fire. First of all, is the crucifix which you must hang on the door. The crucifix symbolizes the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, which is a central event in Christian theology. It represents his sacrifice and the redemptive power of his death on the cross. The crucifix serves as a visual reminder of Christ's suffering and the depth of God's love for humanity. The crucifix is a devotional aid and a way to focus their prayers and meditation on the suffering and sacrifice of Jesus. It can be used in personal prayer, private worship, or as part of religious rituals and ceremonies. It represents his sacrifice and the redemptive power of his death on the cross. The crucifix serves as a visual reminder of Christ's suffering and the depth of God's love for humanity. When you hang this item on your house's door, God will know that you devote to God and need God and you will be blessed. Secondly, 
The blessed lantern is also an item that you should hang on because it will save God's favor and spread the blessings around your home. A blessed lantern is also light in the dark night that can guide you and prevent evil from coming to your house. Every day, you should bring this item into the church and pray with it, it will be blessed by God. If you hang on or display a blessed lantern on your house's door, it will be like the symbol of God and the power of God. Thirdly, you must also hang a blessing door hanger which often includes a printed or engraved blessing or prayer. This can vary depending on the specific religious tradition or personal beliefs. The blessing or prayer may invoke God's protection, ask for divine favor, or express gratitude for the home and its occupants. It is typically used as a way to bless and consecrate a home or a specific room within the house. It is believed to invite positive energy, divine protection, and spiritual harmony into the living space. Some people may use it when moving into a new home or during special occasions such as housewarming ceremonies. Placing the blessing door hanger near a door serves as a visual reminder of one's faith or spirituality. It can prompt individuals to pause, reflect, or say a brief prayer as they enter or leave the home. It can also provide a sense of comfort and reassurance by acknowledging the presence of the divine in everyday life. Our brothers and sisters, those are three items you should hang on your house's door to receive God's blessing and stay away from misfortune, tribulation, and evil this month. These three items are a crucifix, a blessed lantern, and a blessing door hanger. We should follow the instruction of St. Padre Pio to be safe and protect our family. Bible also teaches us about the crucifix, Mark 15 verse 24, and they crucified him, and divided his garments among them, casting lots for them, to decide what each should take. This verse portrays the scene where Jesus is being crucified, a form of execution in which a person is nailed or bound to a wooden cross. The act of crucifixion was a brutal and torturous method of punishment used during the time of Jesus. Our brothers and sisters, let's pray to Saint Padre Pio to express our gratitude to him. O Saint Padre Pio, beloved servant of God, I come before you today seeking your powerful intercession. You were known for your extraordinary holiness, your deep love for Jesus, and your compassion for those in need. Please pray for me and bring my intentions before our Lord. State your specific intentions or requests here. I place them in your hands, knowing that you have a special closeness to God and a deep understanding of human suffering. Saint Padre Pio, you bore the wounds of Christ, and you offered your sufferings in union with His for the salvation of souls. I ask for your guidance and strength to carry my own crosses with patience and trust in God's plan. Amen. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.